And also with this one, this is kind of a stylized rendition of a mechanical bug. Obviously this doesn't exist in real life and the parts aren't necessarily going to be parts that you know have functionality to them it's more or less you know just my interpretation it's just a very stylized you know artistic version of what a mechanical bug would look like so in you know in that respect you don't necessarily have to have everything exactly the way it would be to work mechanically correct Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and continue working my way through here, um, lining out all these gears and pieces up in here, and then I'm gonna go into further detail when I'm actually up in here, um, working on the actual cover-up part of it. Through the center of it with all the gears, and I'm going to be working on the actual lettering part of the cover-up right now. Um, now, as you can see, there's deviations in the uh, the surface of the skin and that also means that there's going to be uh, the elasticity in the surface tension of the skin is going to change as it goes over the different areas of the skin that has um, light scarring from um, the tattoo removal part of it um, laser removal when it's overdone it uh, it's very similar to like a burn um, it's like a slight um, consistent burn um, and what that does is, like I said, it changes the elasticity. It makes a little bit tougher skin, so it's not as um, not as soft and porous. It's a little tougher and firmer, which it makes it a little easier to blow the line out. And basically, what I mean by that is, um, if uh, you overwork it a little too much, it makes the line fuzzy instead of a nice, clean, crisp outline. So when you're going over skin, that's um, got that type of surface tension to it um, you just have to hit it very light and just be careful with it and it's better to go a little too light and have to you know hit it up um, again just slightly to darken it than it is to go too heavy and damage it the first time so again just hit it real light the first time to be careful with it and kind of just see how it works out and uh, go over it again if necessary Now also what you're going to notice too, as you're pulling these lines, um, when you're tattooing, the skin is naturally going to swell a little bit and that's just your body's reaction to any kind of irritation or damage to the skin is it sends water to that area and it tends to swell. Um, and that's going to give you a little bit of deviation in your line. It'll make your lines look kind of like they're swelling and pushed out of the skin and that's also going to um, make it look a little distorted. Now, as long as you're following the stencil line, even if it looks like it's kind of wiggly, as long as you're on your line, the, the stencil is, it's going to be fine, it'll heal fine. So just trust in your lines, follow them, and it'll be fine. 